If you're a fan of Disco Elysium, you probably know about the speech cabinet, which is the uh, dialogue system in the game. You know, you got the rhetoric, you got the logic, uh, the inner in inland empire, empathy, you got your, your physical instrument, your uh, half light, and you may think, you know, what if I could edit this into my video with custom dialogue and everything? Well, then I am in luck. Because I made such a thing in Unity. And yeah, um, I have this because I don't think, I, I, I don't know if I can release this, you know, I, I don't know the legality of it, but uh, it's not even really done ultimately, you know, it's not completely done. And, you know, it's just some kinks to work at. I don't know, I, I'm just going to use it for my videos for now. But uh, let me show you around a bit uh, in this uh, thing. Like, uh, it took me a few months to make. Uh, I'll just... Um, I'll just, I'll just show you some. So uh, here's how it works. Uh, first, you got the uh, authority, which is the game master. See, that's pretty funny, right? Like, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's the uh, game controller. And then here we got the thought list. These are all the uh, pieces of thought uh, that uh, are in the, uh, the, di the dialogue. Like, uh, the way it works is you've got these scriptable objects. And if you don't, don't know what scriptable objects are, well, it's, it's a game dev thing. And then what you do is you create a new scriptable object, you know, so like a thought. And here's one of those thoughts. And here above here, you input a skill, you know, that's like, uh, that's like which skill is talking that right now. So suggestion, endurance, pain threshold. You can also do a custom one, which creates this. So you can give it like a name, <laughs> poop butt, <laughs> a custom color, a uh, custom level and rating, uh, custom portraits, you know, so you can have uh, different pictures in here. Uh, sound effects, but yeah, uh, you can wait. Which, which one had the I have here? Oh boy, Inland Empire. Yes, yes, that's it. Or did did I? Yes, I did. Okay, sorry. Um, but these are my test thoughts. Actually, these are the ones I'm going to show off in the video. Here we go. Here we go. So you got your thoughts, you know, reaction speeds. Then they got the difficulty, you know, like you can have no difficulty. Like in case uh, there's some kind of, you can do a success or failure. So did uh, did Harry Bar succeed at um, at uh, uh, using his skill in the dialogue? You know, you'll see how this works. And here you got all the dialogues. So you can have a whole bunch of them. And of course, you can also create a dialogue again in the uh, script objects. You know, dialogue thing. And the dialogue looks like this. It looks like this. So here's the text. You know, you ty type in your text. And then you can add a voiceover. Now, I made these myself. If you don't have a voiceover in here, this is the timer of how many seconds. Because, like, it takes the, the duration of the voiceover of the file. And then once it's over, once it's over, it just goes to the next one. If there's no voiceover, you can have a timer here. And also, you can have it be interrupted. So even if there's a voice, uh, a voiceover, after, like, let's say two seconds, you can have the next piece of dialogue interrupt the, the previous one. So the skills can like argue with each other and interrupt each other. That's kind of cool. So and you can have multiple of the dialogues and they can all have something else, but they can also have a skill check. And those skill checks, those are the parts where you can have like, um, well, you'll see in a second um, what that looks like. Yeah, you get skill checks. Here's one skill check right here. So you can have, again, the skill that's being, that it's being used, a difficulty level and automatically this thing updates, you know, so it's like impossible. Uh, medium at the eight right yeah easy uh you can check type you know red can never be retried white can be retried uh that's, that's just for uh aesthetically you know like there's no actual limitation limitations it's just for narrative purposes and you can also have bonus points and then you can have as many as you want of these and then you can have like a reason and you can also have minus if you put a minus in front of it it automatically becomes red and then you can also have the die roll the die roll you can have a random result or you can have a fixed result. Now, random result really is more for testing purposes. I had this idea of maybe having like, if uh, if you fail the skill check, maybe a different like, maybe kind of like a, a branching uh, kind of dialogue system where it automatically puts in different dialogue. But like you're editing this for a video, it's not point. So just just do whatever you know. Uh, uh, but two sixes, of course, always succeeds, and two ones always fails. So this actually is like it also like calculates your. Uh, percentage chance of how you can uh of the chance to win so it like it looks identical almost but uh, let me just give you a little bit of a uh of a uh just an intro here like here's uh 
what that looks like when you finish it. Yeah, there's no voiceover in this one. It's just text, you know. There's your skill check, you know. Look at that. Check failure. See, it almost looks identical. Like there's some, in, there's some like inaccuracies, but it looks almost like perfect. It actually looks really good. Like I'm really glad how, how it uh, turned out. So now you wonder, how do you put this in the video? Well, there's actually this really uh, useful recording feature where you press record and it, get, it just automatically starts. Then I'm just gonna press space here to make it start. And then you just wait for it to be done. You know, I'm just waiting. There's no sound here. About recording, there's no sound coming from this thing. I don't know why, but like in the recording, there's sound. So it's fine. Then you just wait for that, for the whole thing to finish. And then you press stop recording. And then it gets put into a, uh, a file, you know, your recording file. And then you just take it out. And what I've got here, I've got here a test project with an angry video game nerd video, uh, Bible games. And you just put the movie in this. Here you go. And that, this is what it looks like, something like this. Yes. Of course. And then you just put it in here. Now, the thing about this, you might wonder, because like the whole idea is that there's, you know, there's, there's something behind here, right? Like this is like transparent. So then you wonder, okay, well, how can I make this transparent, this blue background, right? Because this is in my recording. Now, the first thing I, I thought like, is, is there a way to make videos partly transparent? At this time, technology has not gone that far, sadly. So then I was like, can I key this out like in a green screen? And I'm like, well, there's also some transparency here. So I'm not sure if that will work. Also, I can't use the color green then, you know, like or blue, like you can key out any color, you know. So then I was like, what if you just take the moment where you want to... Um, Put in the recording, right? Your uh, your dialogue thing, and then you just take a screenshot with this. Then you can take a screenshot, import in the project. Then you take that into your project, into your, uh, your Unity project, and then here on the background image, you can add it in, and then you can just record it with this background image already in place. And then that's practically the same thing as having transparency. Now that's pretty good. And the end result looks something like this. Video games? Yes. Of course. Who wouldn't? So that looks pretty good. You know, it looks pretty good. But then, actually, I want to like, you know, let, let me test, let, at least test it out, right? Like what happens when you do you use the key, the key uh, feature? Because here you got the screenshot. It's the same screenshot. You know, I put it over here so uh, I can have like it talk over him, you know? What does that look like, right? So I got here, down here, I got the ultra key. This is a, this is the special key. Like this, it's just a regular color key. This is ultra key. This one's hardcore. So what you do then is I take this little thingy and I click on the blue, and it, it just works. Like even like here, but look, you can see Bowser right here behind it. It just works, and this is the end result. Because here's what's cool about it, right? Because this means that the background can move. Here, look at this. Anticipation. Let's Here, he's already out. moving. He already moved a little bit before the video was done. So that's really cool. Now, this isn't without its issues, though, because again, you're keying out a color. And over here, I got a bunch of tests, right? So let's start with the buff test. Now, look at this one. So in this one, uh, the color is, yeah, it's dark blue. That's the color that's being keyed out. See if I can do this. It's dark blue. And if I key out dark blue, you notice how this is now green. That's not supposed to be like that. And also, this is like the void of color. This is like green. So what's going on is Alter Key just kind of sucks out the color blue. It sucks it out completely. So now this becomes like greenish because there's no more, there's less blue in it. And this looks kind of wrong. So then you're like, okay, what about different colors, right? So what if I make the background brown? Because I can just if I go into my project here and turn this off here, I can go to the main camera, camera and I can just make the background any color, right? I can just do that, whatever, you know, like, but like I can do green because like this color splash is on skill check is green. Also this, this is green and this can be green. Uh, it can do red because that's the color of like, you know, like physical. Uh, purple is, uh, you know, uh, empathy and authority. Blue is logic. Yellow is motorics and shit. 
So uh, it's it's a very easy, I can do black. I can do white because like the dice are white and like you know like I'll show you what it looks like actually. I'll show you what that looks like because this one's brown. That one looks you know th this is like kind of weird color. You know like that's the one thing. You know it's it's see in this this green stuff is a little, little bit weird color. Then this one is pink. This one's like the best one, I think. Like, it still looks kind of... Yeah, it's... No, it's still green. Oh, wait, no, this one. Hang on. Here we go. See, this, this one looks better. Got the pink one. But then, like, this is all, like, gray. And I don't know why, because this is just green, right? I'm not sure what's going on there. Then this one... Oh, this one's really bad. So you know what color is this? This is white. Yeah, it's just... It just... It just... The gray does not like that. Oh, my God, what's going on here? What's going on here? No, that that, that doesn't work. That doesn't work, man. And this final one is just the blue, which, you know, again, like, it just looks green. So that's, like, the same thing as dark blue. So, yeah, pink looks kind of like the best one. Uh, that's kind of the issue here going on. So there are limitations. In this case, you may just want to go yellow, you know, because there's no yellow, really. Or maybe the red is kind of yellow. Uh, you want to kind of find, like, a color that works. Or, you know, maybe in this case, you just go with the uh, background. So, you know, you just take the screenshot, plop it here in the background image, you know. Maybe that's like something you gotta do, but yeah, that's that's just kind of the show off. You know, I just want to show this all off. Really cool project I made. You know, it work, works really well. Some issues I got like uh, some really small issues I want to fix, but I'm gonna try and uh, edit this into my video because um, I think it's cool. I think it just has a cool effect. So now I'll just show you the uh, the end result of this entire video as kind of like a demo of what this could look like. Uh, so, see, so yeah, I hope you uh, subscribe and maybe you'll see this in one of my future videos. Goodbye. I'm here to talk about a series of games based on stories from the Bible, all with weird deformed cartridges made for Nintendo systems but without any endorsement from Nintendo. Like, take this one for example Bible Adventures. Would you want to buy this with its weird baby blue cartridge? It's made by a Christian gaming company that makes unauthorized Nintendo games? Yes. Of course. Who wouldn't? That sounds... amazing. Play it right now, Sai. Don't leave the audience stuck in. Anticipation. Let's check it out. Now it looks like we got all the animals, except the snakes. Now that's gotta be tricky, right? Grabbing them's out of the question. So let's pick up that thing and try to knock them out. Well, I can knock them out, but if I don't catch them, they're gone. I can't catch them either. Shit. How do you get those damn snakes? Excuse me, Sai, but... Could it be that you are trying to get the wrong snakes? Well, guess what? I'm trying to get the wrong snakes. But how can you blame me? They're the first snakes you see in the game. You can even use an acorn to knock the lion out. Damn. I wouldn't want to get hit by one of those acorns. Those lions are fucking wusses. What? What happened? Did you see that? That lion just fell flat on his ass. And he fell at the same time as this squirrel. So who knocked them both out? Left. A squirrel throws its acorn, knocking out the lion. While that is happening, a second squirrel throws its acorn, trying to hit you. But since you were walking below him, at the moment it throws it straight into the air, knocking itself out as it comes down. What a pathetic creature. It deserves to get clobbered for attempting to assault you, Sai. Dumb shit. Later in the game you get a weapon, some kind of fireball or something, I don't know. In the story of David and Goliath, David used a stone sling to defeat Goliath. Thus, there is a high likelihood that this too is a stone sling, Sai. But it sucks. It's just like the rock in Friday the 13th. It arcs over everybody you try to hit. So, every once in a while, you pick up these scrolls that make you answer questions about the Bible. Like, who is Jesus' mother? This one is too easy. You definitely know this one, sire. Well, that would be Mary. That's it. 
So, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Birthday Jesus, whatever. Happy Holidays. See you in 2007.